guys what's up Rajat here from VFX world welcome back to my channel I hope you guys are doing absolutely fine so today I'll show you one most important and the very simple tips from silhouette paint and this will help you a lot for your paint work so without wasting any time let's get started <laughs> Please do subscribe my new channel the lifestyle vlogs and press the bell icon for further notification and this channel is completely based on vlogs fun and entertainment thank you so guys uh, right now we are in silhouette and uh, before starting this tutorial i want to tell you that this silhouette license is provided by boris fx so thank you boris fx for providing me this silhouette license okay so right now we are in silhouette 2020 20 version and as you guys can see in source panel i already imported my source clip and let's create some sessions so click here and go to the session from here new session and if you want to create a new session by shortcut the shortcut is control and n so press new session like this and you can name it like a paint work like this and over there you guys can see there are some templates workspace format size pixel offset and duration start frame depth there are a few options over there and uh, in template option in new version they added some new things like none composite mode paint mode roto and roto plus paint node so for my purpose i am right now checking in paint mode so just click this paint option and just press ok so when you click ok one paint uh, window will popped up here and by default one paint node will be already connected with this output and the input node okay so over there you guys can see as a water paint node option will be visible so let's close this source panel because this is right now no needed so just close this and the paint of auto paint option let's drag and drop it to here because i need this panel here okay so let's buffer this footage by pressing f you can fit to screen this and let's buffer okay so the footage is buffered completely and as you guys can see in this character she have some patches on her faces so my main target is like let's remove this patches from her face and this is a really easiest way so first of all what you have to do select this paint node double click on it so when you press double click when you click is paint option one paint window will be popped up here okay so in this paint panel you guys can see there are so many options over here one is this one and this one this 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 so those are all for paint purpose okay but in this tutorial i am taking this clone stamp tool uh, but you guys can choose these options as well this is completely blurred the skin so when you click here and when you zoom it like this and when you start drawing by pressing control and hold your uh, mouse cursor you can really increase and decrease your uh, shapes but or uh, from here you guys can also change your brush size opacity softness fall off and all okay and uh, when you click like this see it will blur this area but it will not remove this completely see now you can also see still some black edges are right now visible so control z and in this options by pressing this uh, what you can say this clone stamp tool you guys actually can remove this markers okay sorry the markers not just patches on her face so by pressing control and drag you can obviously increase or decrease your brush size and by pressing shift and drag you actually can get your source from your footage okay so just click it like this and uh, let's paint this out okay so let's paint this like this it's very simple right so let's paint it a little bit so let's make it a little more precise and uh, yes this is fine okay so right now what I have to do when you check from next frame you can see it's only applied on the first frame so what you have to do you have to do it in frame by frame this is the main major uh, thing in silver that you have to do it in every frame by frame you can do it in multiple uh, paint strokes but I am uh, showing it in, in only one uh, patches uh, because in tutorial I don't have lots of times and guys uh, if you really want to uh, download this footage link is in description just go and uh, download that footage it's completely free okay so now what you have to do i will add a roto node over here from node panel let's cancel this and um, you guys can type it from here roto and click and drag it like this so when you drag it it will come here and connect a source to this uh, okay like this and this output panel will go here so double click on your roto node and uh, just like this and when you go to the timeline it will show like this okay so now what I have to do I have to track this area okay it's very easy to track just click a new layer 
and name it like a face and uh, let's click some box because I want to track a texture kind of thing so let's make it like this this is very simple right okay so then shift T or you guys can click this option as well for tracker the shortcut is shift T just press shift T like this so the mocha tracker the planet tracker and the point tracker window will be popped up here okay so then what you have to do make selection like large to small and the minimum uh, percentage of pixel used should be 100 and then you uh, based on your footage you can track forward or track backward so i'm for for this footage i'm taking it like track forward so when you click track forward it will start tracking but i'm just stop it because it's already in output mode so make it in foreground so it will track faster than before so just press right now tracking forward so when you track track forward see the it's window it's actually start tracking and it's really faster than before so when the track will done i will get back to you okay so the track is completely done and if you make it stabilize it from here you can see that track is actually happening really well okay so the tracking process is right now done so now what i have to do i have to link this track to my paint layer so how right now i'll show you that so just make it down and you can see there's a yellow line here and this one is also there so just connect this yellow line to this so right now what happened uh, these two la layers are right now linked and let's connect this output panel to this paint node and double click on your paint panel like this and over there you guys can see there's a transform option will be there so when you click this transform option you guys can see your face layer which i tracked before in roto layer it will show here if you have multiple track layers it will show here okay so you have to just select your layer and that layer will be uh, track here okay so just select this face layer and over there you have some paint strokes over this okay so just select this and this like this by pressing shift you can select all this together and you can actually make some uh, like if, if you want some few frames like 1 to 10 frames like if you want some custom frame range to apply those paint strokes then over here you guys can see there's a current work or custom nodes also there so you just for my case i'm taking all because i want in complete footage so then over there you just tick on this match move option like this and simply you just press this play select it event forward so when you press this see it will automatically start it playing paint events and in multiple next frames next frames and next frames so it means it will automatically tracking and applying your paint strokes to every next frames and right now i am in stabilized mode so you can see exactly what happening in a stabilized mode so the when the paint stroke will be done i'll get back to you cool so the strokes are right now applied on every frames and when i turn off the stabilization mode you can see the blemish or you guys can see the patches on from her face is right now completely gone see and it's completely painted on every frame and this process you guys can call this as a beauty uh, making process or face cleanup or like auto paint anything but it's just a simple paint out from silhouette and it's completely based on this kind of footage when you have less movement or this kind of movement then this option will be completely applied okay so i hope you really understand that's what i'm trying to show you and if you have multiple pain strokes you have to apply those pain strokes by using this transform and taking your own track layer and apply it by using this match move so this is the way and i think you already started understanding that how you can do your own paint work in a really easiest way so if you like this video then don't forget to hit that subscribe button and please do subscribe because very soon my channel will be crossed 10k subscribers so very less subscribers left for 10k so just go and press subscribe button and don't forget to hit that bell button for further notifications and if you like this video then please go comment like share and i will see you in my next tutorial or next video till then have fun stay healthy keep rocking vfx world